In today's video, I'm gonna teach you the full process of making a ballpoint portrait. Now let's start. Choose a good reference, or picture that has good lighting. You can crop the reference photo to adjust the size of it. The purpose of this is to make it more closer cause I like to draw the face only. You should also adjust the brightness and contrast of the photo to see clearly where the shadows is. Now let's change the color of our reference photo to blue, because the pen that I would be using is a blue pen, and to make the photo clearer, you can use Remini app. For better accuracy and for beginners, you should use grid method, use the drawing grid maker app. I use the half of the inch when making a grid, and here I would leave a 3 cm border to fit the numbers of our horizontal and vertical lines. I will use a Coral Tree XS ballpoint pen here. But usually I use HBW pen, but first let me demonstrate to you how I do the shadings. First relax your wrist and hand, and try to shade first on the air, don't hold the pen tightly. Repeat this until you get closer to the paper and just repeat these flow, always start on soft shadings first. You should soften your shadings, remember that you can't erase it anymore. You can just add more shadings on it. Just repeat these process. Until it gets darker and darker till you get the desired tonal value. Practice this until you get a better control of it. Now let's do the shadings. I always starts on the eye, it's my favorite part to start. Then I shade around the eye, the important part of using ballpoint pen is the values of your pen shadings, then the details of it. It's very important to make it pop up, then trying to add complicated detail but with a flat result. Try to remember these four things to make the subject pop up. Number 1. The core shadows. Number 2. The midtone or the original color of the skin, the light tone, and the highlights. Applying these every single time would make the drawing more realistic and three-dimensional. Just practice every single day to get better. Do the shadings on the dark areas first, from darkest to lightest, and then try adding more core shadows. I'm just applying hatching here, and try to shade it on same direction for cleaner shades. I always erase the sketches after every light shadings or on first layer. <laughs> 